straight into this machinery. What are you looking out for as we head into Sanctum on Nepal? I'm not gonna lie, the biggest thing to be looking out for here are the support lineups. Both teams have got phenomenal supports in Slur and Gustav for Shoes Money Crew, and of course, you cannot forget Kara and Eclipse for Novus Order Seclorum. So, the matchup between these supports are gonna really make or break. Your tank line is also pretty big, but those supports can't emphasize it enough. Ah, uh, tank line's what's taking a lot of damage right now. Luff's gotta be a little <laughs> bit careful. He's taking a, you know, a bit of damage. Backs up, both teams. Running the mirror comp that uh, that Winston goats with the Zen. The dive comes in from JK Lull. The peel from Kara is good with the sound wave. In the front line, big one. Already has a ton of energy, but he's got to be careful. He's got to live long enough to get some use out of it. Peels for his tank, but it's just not enough pressure at the moment. Oh, JK Lull dives in when he only had half health. That is not the play there, bud. And that just gives Novus all of the room they need to walk forward and cap the point. Oh, JK lol, man. You just dived onto a hundred energy Zarya. That's not what you want to do. Especially, as you said, when you're at half HP and now, of course, not sitting on two ultimates, about to have four of them. They're in a really good position here to hold. Choose many crew still have oh. Oh, Yeah, the there's that. There's that first ultimate out, it's the grab straight onto the wall. No follow up though because of transcendence. And guess what? The same thing happens the other direction. This is what we all love about goats, right? There's a bomb. Still doesn't find anything, but Gustav gonna find the first kill. Slaps Eclipse, takes him down. So there goes that important su uh, support line you were referring to earlier. Buff's not gonna have the healing to sustain him through, but Shoes Money Crew is when they got that sound barrier going. They're gonna push on forward here and they are gonna get this flip going their direction. I mean, those support lines, they attack, they protect, they know what's going on. If they're not <laughs> healing up their tanks, they're getting those melees onto the other supports. They're really carrying their teams here really well. So, really good job there from Shoes Money Crew. The coordination that came through, getting that transcendence just in time, negating the entire um, Graviton Surge really helped them to flip that point over. Now they have control, but they have no ultimates. Once again, Nasa in a very favorable position here. Once they hit that W, this is their opportunity Ooh. to make it back. Oh, there's big one. Yet yeah, with another grab. Oh, the bomb is going to make it so that barbecue gets cleaned up nice and easy. Miles down too. Just a little too far forward with no support. And like you said, they didn't have any alts to back him up. So Novus come back in and they flip that back. Nice and easy. See Winston diving once again onto the big one, and he's all big ones, just like, just kidding, laugh out loud, 21, you know, <laughs> get out of my game. <laughs> oh, he's gonna eject Mouse from the game too, send him straight back to spawn. Oh, this is a brutal forward hold from Novus as they just get these stagger kills. And it's working really well for them. They know if they can keep staggering, then they're going to hold on to this position for as long as they need to. And the big one's still sitting on really high charge here. He can melt down just about anyone that comes into his sights. But Shoes Money Crew, now we're on the flip side. They have massive ultimate advantage here. They can hit W. They can make this work. They've got the Primal Rage. They can knock them off at the point and create that space. They've got the Transcendence for a potential Graviton Surge. This is looking good for Shoes Money Crew. Oh, uh, even better as they manage to force out the Transcendence from Eclipse early. Now Shoes Money Crew have that grab. It's gonna go straight down the bomb into the combo. Perfectly placed, but it's not gonna matter because of the shielding. Barbecue's the next one down. It's 99% here in favor of Novus, and all of the kills are going their direction. A desperate Transcendence to sustain them through the big one's grab yet again, but it's not gonna last nearly long enough. Shoes Money Crew throw their bodies at the point here, but it's Novus who walk away with Sanctum. They had such a huge opportunity there to take it back, but Novus were just way too good at negating every single one of those ultimates. The Graviton Surge came through, the Self Destruct came through, and at the end it all came to naught. Then Novus started investing their own ultimates, and they were just like, you know what? We see you trying to take our point. My point. You can't have. <laughs> <laughs> you can, aff you can afford the to take that stance when you have those ults, right? Well, exactly, right? You you know that you have an upper hand. Yeah, Shoes Money Crew have some ultimates, but we know if we just play better and we utilize our ultimates better, then it doesn't matter because we, you know, we're just good like that. <laughs> <laughs> just be good, forehead. Forehead. That is the <laughs> pro-level analysis here from Mayori today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's, let's get a little bit better analysis here. So I'm loving this composition that Nasa are running right now. They've got that Farah and that Ash, and it does so good to corral the uh, 
choose money crew into unfavorable positions however they've done a bit of scouting out and it looks like they're gonna swap off because they've seen that may goats and you yeah. don't want to roll out against may goats with that composition so they're gonna swap it up just a little bit choose money crew okay they stopped onto moira and swapped back to slow because they probably figured out exactly what nos was doing this is just a head game they're just playing with each other right now it's interesting to me that they opt to just go straight goats into the May goats, but for some reason, Shoes Money Crew aren't set up on the point, so it's an easy first cap for Novus. The one advantage you have with that composition, Shoes Money Crew, is the choke points. You've given it away. You're just walking into your death now, and they're going to find that out the hard way as they give this up basically for free. <laughs> I mean that mind game it just it went a little bit too far guys yes okay nice rolled out they saw that they saw that may go they're like okay we'll swap up shoes money crew they saw the pharah and the the ash and they were like oh we better swap up and both teams are like ah we're swapping but no one's gonna get to point and oh damn not got point first well i guess we lose these unlucky that is that is just a hardcore unlucky right on Un unironic unlucky but you know it's also going to be big one who's a little unlucky. He gets that discord on him. He's got to be careful. He's at render at half health. Obling looking pretty worse for wear as well as Shoes Money worked their way in here. But the first kill is actually going to be on to Barbecue's neck. It's a lot of damage mitigation no longer available for Shoes Money crew as they try and push their way in. Now, Novus can sort of just sit here and tank the Earth Shatter. Left just hard holding right click because he doesn't need to do anything else. Desperation coming in from JK Law, but. Yeah, he's not gonna get much done with it. Diva cannot afford to be d that early on in the fight. They, like, your team needs you, man. And you cannot be allowing yourself to take that much damage. Your Reinhardt needs to be there, you need to be protecting each other. Right now, you're just monkeying onto points. Uh, and I think that stress is really getting to them, especially because they know, they gave up that point for free at the start. And now it's like, oh damn, now we've gotta, you know, get it together and, and start doing something. So now the stress is in, but they do have two ultimates. They're about to have the Graviton Surge as well. They have a chance, but Nos is popping that rally, and it looks like they may just take this next fight as well. I mean, yeah, Novus have that fat six stack of ultimates. They're going to start using them one by one. Haven't managed to find any kills as of yet here in Juice Money Crew. are trying to push their way in. They've got the sound barrier to try and sustain them through, but it's just not going to work for SMC. Barbecue gets two kills with the self-destruct, but it's just not enough. JK Low going down too. Novus gonna shut him out here. 100 0 on Village nice. to claim the first map. Novus Ordo Seclorum looking dominant in this series so far. Looking insanely strong. And of course, we cannot overemphasize. I mean, you were, you were shouting about it and you had every right to. They just gave up that first point. Okay. And that's what. It basically just lost them that that, mm -hmm. that second map. First map was pretty evenly matched out. Yeah. Uh, they fought it out. The alt economy, again, NOS doing incredibly well on their alt economy over both of these maps. I've been pretty impressed to see that. SMC could definitely look at how they're using their ultimates and how they're countering other ultimates. Uh, hopefully in the coming maps, they don't give up too many more points. Because if they keep playing like this, we did mention this is do or die for Shoes Money Crew. If they don't win this map, then they are out of contender's contention. Well, n uh, not not necessarily. Well, so yeah, yeah. Let's, I mean, now, that we, gotta, now that we got a minute, right? We're not uh, we're not uh, just jumping into a map. We got a minute, so let's set, let's set the stage here, uh, a little bit. Uh, after Act One, let's set the stage a little backwards, <laughs> but we're gonna do it. So we have these we have two teams, right? Novus is currently four and one. They have two games left to play. Choose Money Crew. This is their last game. They are five and one, right? So they win this. They go six and one guaranteed spot for trials right there are there are not three teams or two teams i should say that could beat their score at that point right so they win this they're in novice they win this they're looking like they should make it in assuming they don't drop the match to hsl they have tomorrow which on paper they sh should be winning right yeah. now shoes money crew lose this they go five and two then they just have to sit back wait and cross their fingers hoping that everything <laughs> goes their their way right and same thing you could be said about novice right they lose this one they pick up their win tomorrow they'll also be five and two and just praying that teams win and lose the way they need to so it is it, it's not necessarily do or die at the moment but it's do or just <laughs> have horrid anxiety for the next 24 hours <laughs> 
I mean, that's it exactly. Um, this is they've been working so hard. They've won so many of their games. This is their opportunity to really cement that. And as you say, you know, either they they pull it together now and secure their spot, mm -hmm. or they they sit on their hands and hope. And that's probably the most stressful place you can be in, knowing oh, yeah. that there's literally nothing you can do now. You've done everything you can. So this is their chance to really show that they should have that spot. But again, if they keep throwing points unnecessarily, it could go the, the way of NOS. And I just want to point out, NOS's team is looking incredibly strong today. We've been saying all along since the start of these trials, NOS is a strong team. But again, they're coming up against Shoes Money Crew, the top tier team at the moment in terms of winning and, and map differential and so on. But despite that, they haven't let it get to them. They're not too concerned. They're playing really cool, really level-headed. Oh, yeah utilizing their ultimates well so big props to nos at the moment and i'm really excited to see what they're going to bring for the next couple of maps because obviously shoes money crew they're feeling the heat and to me nos are coming out today like they came out yesterday when they faced young and beautiful that was a dominant series out from novus order seclorum and young and beautiful at the time were also number one in the standing right Nas was sitting a little bit lower. Now she's Money Crew's number one in the standing. Nas coming out, slapping them around too, right? So <laughs> it, it really goes to show that this, this one team, the one team that actually came up from Open Division is hungry for that contender's spot. <laughs> And that's an interesting point to make because Nas is basically Shoes Money Crew 2.0. If you recall, the last <laughs> Open Division season last year, Shoes Money Crew barreled through Open Division. They came first, barreled through Trials, made their way into Contenders. Now it looks like Nas is doing the same thing. They're basically fighting against their big brother for the title of like, I don't know, awesome breakout team. And well, and doing... Shoes Money, and Shoes Money, they've had some roster switch ups, right? If we're talking about last season contenders trials, there's only two people on this roster that were there for that. You're not wrong. No. Oh. And all of these swaps, it doesn't even seem to be making a huge difference because as we can see, Shoes Money Crew is still looking incredibly oh, yeah. strong. And I'm I'm excited to see that they are indeed running this quad DPS. And it doesn't look like it's a scout. It looks like this is their rollout. And I love this strategy. It's so good. The Sombra to disable the Diva at every turn, make sure she can't use that defense matrix. Polly to blast in rockets, get tons of damage into the, the back line and try and stop them from doing pretty much anything. This is a really good strat for splitting the attention of the defending team. And Novus look a little bit confused as to how they want to handle this. They start by going into a room on the side that denies sight lines, but they give up the point to do so. Then when they come out, it's just easy pickings. The crossfires have already been set up for Shu's money crew. They've given up so much space. Kara does find one nice frag onto Gustav here, but already two tanks down. Luff's coming back on the wrecking ball before too long here, but now Novus already giving up 98% of the points. Just have to desperately throw themselves at the point. They're getting the kills though. They managed to find JK Law and Barbecue. The rest of Shu's money is just gonna reset here. There's a nice first push, but not gonna net them the full cap. Yeah, they, they pushed in and they looked really dominant and they got a ton of really good kills and suddenly it just started to fall apart. Uh, apart. Nas came back, they made that little swap up onto the Hammond, so now they've got their, their own pile drive. They can also cause problems, especially for that support lineup, because the problem with this quad DPS is that there's very little peel for your support. So, I mean, that Mercy is just going to get bullied by Hammond. So it's it's definitely a difficult position here for Shoes Money Crew, but they do have massive ultimate advantage because they haven't made any swaps. So this next push, EMP. Oh, EMP, six man into all of the DPS alt. <laughs> cleans them up as a dragon zones them out that was the exact win condition shoes money we're waiting for and because of that they're finally going to get this third tick rolling and uh chances are they are gonna swap it up onto that good composition you use all of your ultimates here you win the point and then you swap it up onto something you're a little bit more comfortable on that's that's yeah there it is yep it's goats it's <laughs> goats and it's reinhardt goats too but a little bit interesting because it will be Reinhardt go. Oh no, no, it's Reinhardt into Reinhardt. I uh, originally Luff was on the Winston, but that's not staying. So we got a f good old fashioned brawl down on the front line here. And this is exactly what you need. Goats is so good on these escort maps because you you don't. It's not an issue if you step off, right? It's not like a, an assault or a control where you need to be holding on to that point every second of, of the game. Yeah, you've got a little bit of space to move out a little bit. You can use some, uh, some of the 
geometry to your advantage. So this is definitely a good place to be using that pick and a good early pick off from you. Yeah, not a good place to be standing if you're offline. Gonna go down first here. Desperation, self-destruct. Not sure if that was the play, Molfig. You had the grab online. You could have waited and comboed that for the next fight, but now Shoes, Money Crew, they're gonna get some progress for free here, and they're working their way up to these ultimates. And really working their way up. Incredible uh, ult charge here, especially from the likes of JK Lol and Slur. They just made those swap offs and already sitting on 80% ult charge, whereas Nas are sitting on. They've got two ultimates, but is it going to be enough? They've got that Graviton Surge, they've got the sound barrier, but they did waste their self destruct. Choose Money Crew, they've got an Earth Chatter, and Earth Chatter could be huge here. If they can get a big one, then they can probably take this all the way. To well, there's the grab coming out, but like I said earlier, Molfig didn't have the self-destruct anymore. Nice shatter out from left. Oh, Locks out dang. most of Shoes Money Crew. Get They get two kills off of the back of that. Now, Barbecue's just going to get staggered out a little bit. Luff coming up clutch. That, that Graviton Surge was just a distraction. It was just the big one <laughs> being like, hey guys, look over here at this big shiny hammer down. Ah, you see, you didn't see it. You weren't watching. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it pulls out the only support ult that SMC had available, right? So, it works. Yeah. So, as soon as that happens, you draw out that support ultimate, then you smack him with the hammer down, and it's like, you thought you were safe, you, you weren't. We, we're gonna take this back. However, there are still two minutes for this push, and we do have the Graviton Surge online for Shoes Money Crew, and Barbecue will have that self-destruct in a matter of moments. So, this again, this is fight winning potential, uh, and Nos only have well they've got the transcendence and that could be pretty huge if they can get that off at just the right time then yeah they can they can protect themselves from this potential onslaught that could be coming into them nice rotation onto the high ground try and dodge some of that damage coming in from above and we've got barbecue chilling on the, the payload there sneaky sneaky yeah. smart and you know this is the first time i've ever seen a fight here barbecue is going to throw that uh self-destruct into the grab the shield there is from left not going to find much of anything except some payload progress Shoes Money Crew have set themselves up on the point, however, they've given up the high ground to do so, and now they gotta play a little bit careful here. Nas does have that high charge, and the bubble is out first from Novus Ordo, but it's uh, Shoes Money on the back foot for a minute. Nice pick from JK Law here, but they gotta survive yet another Earth Shatter after the Transcendence. A pin catches Slur right at the end of his invulnerability. Unfortunate there for the flex support of Shoes Money Crew, as now there's so much damage with the discord and just the pure fragging potential of eclipse to just completely zone out and decimate shoes money crew in this push despite that they're gonna stay in here for the moment but now they're cutting another grab big one you already used one of those this fight left goes a little bit too far forward but the kills are there to back up the defense so they are gonna hold for the moment big one you're actually huge two grabs in one fight <laughs> I'm actually speechless. Well played there. We saw a great Graviton Surge coming through from Shoes Money Crew to start out that fight. And we saw two self-destructs followed up by a nice transcendence from Eclipse managed to keep the whole of NOS alive. Then Big One just decides to throw out two Graviton Surges. I mean, SMC, you're not going to survive that. But now with SMC, a grab of their own with another transcendence to protect. And Molfig decides to go for the counter self-destruct just to make the grab out from Shoes Money Crew really annoying for them to follow up on. Manages to find slow with it. We are headed into overtime now as Shoes Money Crew desperately try and stay on the point, but JK Lol, the shield is taking so much damage and when it's not, he is. The bubble's out early. He's taking so much pressure. Luff just really wants that kill. Gonna push him back and get the pin onto the cart onto Mouse. This is desperation for Shoes Money Crew as it's not looking good for them trying to get the second point. Sure, the sound barrier is out from Gustav, but it's just not gonna net them much of anything. Nas are gonna hold strong. Wow, dominant display there from Nas's tank line. They saw JK LOL was, was low and they just completely shut out all the chaos that was going on around them. They knew that the rest of their team, Zarya and the three supports, they've got that on lock. All they need to do to make sure that they can win this fight is make sure that JK LOL goes down. They tunnel visioned him and it he did, he died. And that won them that fight. And Shoes Money Crew unable to push through to that first point. Yeah, I can hear the comms just, I, what, I, what I imagine the comms of just, right, 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 in my head, you know? <laughs> I, I, can't, yeah. I can't imagine that they were saying anything less there, but circling back a bit, I gotta say, when it comes to Novus's lineup, looking at it on paper, the player I've 
been most worried about is the big one, right? He's had a little bit yeah. of inconsistency last week. He came up pretty solid yesterday. Not really a standout performance, but god damn if it's not a standout <laughs> performance here today. I mean, he really is showing up. And as you say, he's, he's one that we've all been worried about a little bit. There have been moments that have been really questionable. We did see that that one weird grab on this map as well. But managing sure. to get those two grabs in one fight, he's doing so much now to deal with it or to protect his team and to deal with the mm -hmm. onslaught of Shu's money crew. So it's working out incredibly well for them. And I'm excited once again to see this DPS composition from Shu's money crew. Now, again, the same kind of thing that we saw on Nepal earlier. It's that Pharah with that Ash. And again, the idea is to do some uh, crossfire damage, split up the attention of Nos, but Nos, they're gonna do a little bit of scouting here. Uh, clearly, they've already spotted that Farah and they know what they're gonna do. Yeah, they're probably going to switch it up. It's probably, it looks like it's going to be the Moira version of Goats, possibly the Moira version of Flows. And actually, we're sticking with the Sombra here from Oblink. Oh, so, yeah. getting that hack, getting that ability denial down onto either the tank line or the pharmacy combo up in the air, just disrupting that crossfire. It is going to be a ticking clock, basically, for the DPS of Shoes Money Crew when Novus push in here. They got to find picks before Novus get to the point and get themselves set up. That is the win condition for Shoes Money. Right now, Novus is going to just go straight for the jump on the mouse, but the coach gun is there, denies him entirely. And meanwhile, on the low ground, big one gets caught out. That is exactly what Shoes Money Crew were hoping for. They lose Mouse on the side, but they've already found the picks that they need to zone this offense or zone this offense out for the moment. Now this gets res too, so it's a full crew for Shoes Money as they try and hold on to this. Picks still going down. There's nobody here to contest Polly as Obling is swapped over on to that brig. You gotta find out the hard way the, the flail does not beat a rocket as Novus head back to spawn. Yeah, they did swap off of that Sombra straight onto the Brigida, and of course Obling now sitting with that rally, but I can't help but wonder if the Sombra wouldn't have been a good uh, pick, as you said, to possibly disable that Fairy in the Sky, or disable that Diva's defense matrix, and make sure that they can't get the protection from that. But they did decide to swap it up, and clearly it's not... Uh... Oh! Yeah, that was just a nice bit of comboing there from Shoes Money Crew. Again, they just knew exactly what their win condition was, and they played around it so well. Corral him into the side. Use the Nana Barrage. Easy clap. Yeah, that crossfire is so painful. You go left, there's an Ash. You go right, there's a Pharaoh. What do you do, man? You run it down mid, you're gonna get both of them on you. It's so difficult for Nos to make any sort of progress here. And of course, that Pharaoh up in the sky, as you said, completely uncontested. The best thing they have for it at the moment is Eclipse's infinite right click. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough, especially with the Mercy baby thing. Oh man, that bio found three players too. Forces out the Primal Rage from left here is now. He's desperately just trying to find some damage down. The coalescence is out from Eclipse over on the side to try and deal with Bob, who was just zoning out the majority of Novus. Now Luff caught in the back line, not going to live very long. And now Novus are sort of just caught in this awkward area by Griffin where Shoes Money Crew can just pelt into the room while Novus wait this out. Yeah, they have to wait for the respawns, right? They cannot engage now, and Luft was caught so far out of position, and it's just free damage for Polly. It's not even free ult charge, because he's got his ult. He's just, you know, damage for free, and Nas are sitting on... They've got the self-destruct, which could possibly get oh. some value. What finds value first, though, is that barrage. Eliminates Car first and foremost. Oh, I think it got a mid-sound barrier, too. Brutal. Oh, now Barbecue ate the grab out from Big oh One. Every win condition falling by the wayside for Novus as they just can't manage to get in here. They do manage to get some picks. JK lol down. They, but choose money. Get the res on to Slur, and the Nano is now out. Mulfic loses that Mac in, in the back line. It's no. Desmond Station, but a, oh no, a letter number oh, coming out from Shoes Money. They were winning the fight, but they can't keep it clutched as Eclipse just frags out with the Coalescence. It's Shoes Money with the fight win, but it's Novus with the cap. That was nutty. They were doing so well to protect that point for so long. They I gotta give it to Luff there. Staying along, so, uh, staying alive so long in the back line, oh, yeah. drawing out so many of Shoes Money Crew's resources that no one was able to touch point. And if they had touch point, they would have just died. So they forced out that 
I mean, you can't really force out a C9, but they forced Shu's money group off the point and gave him the opportunity to take it back. Oh, they're not gonna have much of an opportunity to take it back now as uh, Shu's money crew run in, immediately lose Polly, immediately lose Mouse. They throw down the Nano. I'm, I'm betting Slur is gonna switch off after this. Just wanted to try and get Barbecue some more alt charge, but it's ultimately gonna be Novus keeping that payload moving. Really dominant attack here or defense here. Attack. I with payload, you never know who's attacking or defending. Shoes Money Crew were on the point. Nas came in, they started attacking. Shoes Money Crew pulled back, and then they started attacking. But really well played from Nas here, managing to get this payload moving. And again, like, I cannot emphasize enough how good it was that they did manage to get that point because that was their last opportunity, and oh. they did take it. Yeah, well, it's gonna be Shoes Money taking this fight. Nice vanilla self destruct, caught the big one out, created some nice space for Shoes Money to get aggressive. And now they get to set themselves up and stabilize a bit on this defense. Nothing better than a vanilla grab that actually gets value. Um, and what I'm loving here is we are seeing the primal rage from JK Lol. He's got an opportunity to create a lot of space for his team. Uh, coming up shortly behind that is Mouse with the Graviton Surge, but Self Destruct is quite far off. So if they are looking to combo, it's not going to be for a while. Nas, on the other hand, they have that combo, they have the rally, they have the transcendence, they have the beat. They are ready for just about anything that shoots money from can throw at him. They have a massive advantage. Yeah, all they gotta do is bait out that defense matrix. You can hear the grab of our on the side. I uh, don't actually know if it was able to catch anyone up. I'm hoping it was caught Gustav and that's how he was found. Now the grab comes the other direction. No bomb to combo with it though. And plenty of support alt in that sound barrier out from car to sustain, but not actually enough for Obling to live. Eclipse ever so close to that transcendence, but just doesn't get it online in time to save his team. Shoes money gonna hold strong. 30 seconds on the clock. I mean, I was just saying that Nas have every utility available to them to take this next fight, and Shoes Money Crew just proved me wrong. And they're like, I don't care what ultimates Nas has, we're gonna hold it. And now they have three ultimates of their own. Eclipse sitting on the Transcendence as well with the Earth Shatter from Luft. Once again, they do have a chance here. If they can connect that, uh, that earth, earth Shatter, this could be it. Early Transcendence from Eclipse, gonna make it so his team can at least get to the point and touch it, right? JK Law pops that Primal already down to about half HP in that Primal Rage form. Right now, just bouncing around, trying to disrupt Novus more than anything else. The beat comes out from Gustav, and that's oh, when Shoes Money decide to push. They have all the health in the world to get these kills, already finding two. Now they have a Transcendence to get even more. Eclipse goes down. This is it for Novus. Shoes Money say, hey, there's a reason we're at top of the standings. Sure, they're not currently on the payload. There they go. They're, they come back to it. They make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And Shoes Money crew are going to send us into a tie at the halftime. It's pretty well played. I, once again, like, I'm so impressed. Shoes Money crew coming through from that first map on Nepal. They did some weird things. Uh, they lost some points unnecessarily. They came back onto Blizzard World. And they turned it around. They realized where they were messing up. They realized why or where their alt economy wasn't working out. And I mean, I would imagine that you, you start to stress out on Nepal and then you like take a breath, you get onto Blizzard World. You're like, okay, guys, we're just going to cool it down. We're going to run these strats. We've practiced this, right? We know what we're doing. We're a good team. And they, they show it to us. Not also... I mean, you, you can't really point out, I would say, in this map where one team was doing particularly better than another. You can't really say, oh, well, you know, Reinhardt, I don't know what he was doing. He was out of position 90% of that map. It wasn't even like that. These teams have been playing so well, and it's just those minor mistakes that are being capitalized on, and it's the quick thinking decisions of, okay, we need to use Transcendence now. We need to use Beat now. We need to eat that grab. Hello.